Alrighty, and welcome to our Conspiracy Theories series. So, for those of you that don't know, um, in our Conspiracy Theories series, uh, we go over some conspiracy theories or rumors and discuss their possibilities at various parks. It started with Cedar Point, and now we're at other parks. So in today's video, it's going to be Six Flags, but it's going to kind of like stem into Six Flags Great Adventure about halfway through the video. So today is a bit different as most of ours have been about Cedar Point, as I just said. Well, we're going to change things up today. So today we're going to discuss something totally different. One, we're going to be discussing Six Flags and 2020 surrounding the T-Rex coaster concept. And two, we're going to be talking about Great Adventure and how they come into play when discussing the T-Rex model. So this is where I'll ask you guys to put down below your comments about future conspiracy theories you'd like to see me cover in future videos. So again, comment down below a conspiracy theory from your home park or a park you just absolutely love that you would like to see me cover in a future video. We're making these conspiracy theories more diverse now and I need your help for some really interesting theories and rumors circulating around the coaster community. All right, so Brendan, let's get back on topic. So let's discuss Six Flags in 2019 as well as 2020. Six Flags really shook the coaster community with their announcements in 2019. So their announcements they just made for the 2019 season, they had a lot of record-breaking attractions, even flat rides that broke records. But a few that really stood out was West Coast Racers, um, Max Force, and then even some of the smaller additions in the Six Flags chain. They were all really amazing, and it really set Six Flags apart from Cedar Fair. So what a lot of people were kind of like shocked by is the size of these attractions that Six Flags is building. So it seems like Six Flags is now back to unique attractions, like coasters that actually have unique layouts and not copy and paste. Yes, we saw some copy and paste attractions that Six Flags announced, but we are seeing more unique layouts. And this is what brings up the topic of T-Rex. So people are like questioning maybe why is the T-Rex model being brought up in this video? Well, I will say this idea has been sent to me so many times. So a lot of people are predicting Six Flags will be the first chain to order a T-Rex model. And a lot of people are predicting even further that Great Adventure could be the first park in the chain to receive the T-Rex model. I'm going to go over why and why not that may be um, kind of like a concept in the coaster community right now. So first, let's talk about my predictions for 2020. So Six Flags in 2020, I really think is going to break even further into the uniqueness category of coasters and attractions. Six Flags in 2019 really diversified itself with the attractions they added. And they did so by kind of bringing in marketing of other companies. You, you saw this with West Coast Racers, and we can probably see this further with other coaster announcements. So why do I think the 2019 announcements hint at a better 2020? Well, it's just the right step in the direction and their stocks are starting to climb again. And from what I've heard, they're starting to do really well. Yeah, they missed stockholder analysis predictions by 1%, but they still grew. And growing in today's market is very difficult in the theme park industry. So I'm expecting really big things. So is 2020 too soon for a T-Rex coaster? Well, it may not necessarily be too soon, but a lot of people are on both sides of this argument. So you have some people saying 2020, it's just not ready to, for development. And you have a lot of people saying it's ready for development and Six Flags has probably already ordered one. This is where I find it very difficult to make up my mind. I definitely do think Six Flags is going to be the first purchaser, in my opinion, of a T-Rex coaster model. Unless Universal has something to say about that. I just don't see another chain um, right now as a purchaser of the T-Rex model until they see it further tested. Now, furthermore, Great Adventure is one of those parks that is having significant attendance increases. I'm hearing that the winter type event that they had, Holiday in the Park, I think is what they call it, had a 9% increase in attendance when they launched it. And since then, the park has been doing really well. So with discounts to memberships is what they call it, um, additions to the park that necessarily aren't always a coaster. They've had quite the coaster drought, but they've had pretty good additions. Yeah, they're flat rides and super loops and stuff like that, but it's boosting sales. Um, I heard that 
Six Flags Great Adventure might have had one of its best years this year. In fact, I'm really looking forward to the uh, attendance report that gets released. I know it's quite a ways away in June of 2019. I'm looking forward to that because I'd like to see where Great Adventure stands on that list. And this is why I'm starting to think that Great Adventure in the terms of Six Flags might be the first park in the chain to get a T-Rex model. I know it's a little crazy. Some people might also be like Magic Mountain. Why won't Magic Mountain get one before Great Adventure? And I just honestly think that Great Adventure with its coaster drought is the better opportunity slash better chances in this circumstance of a park to be getting a T-Rex model. It would fit greatly with their coaster lineup. And also Great Adventure has a very diverse coaster lineup compared to other Six Flags parks. And I just see a lot of opportunity in this chain. So is there another chain that could see a T-Rex model earlier? Well, like I said, the only one I could really see is Universal Studios for some reason. And I just don't see it. So I'm starting to think that um, Six Flags is most certainly going to be the first chain to purchase a T-Rex model. So again, my opinion is definitely Six Flags will be the first chain. SeaWorld's a slight possibility. We're seeing really kind of unique things with SeaWorld um, and they're kind of transitioning into the theme park industry versus kind of like the zoo type element that they previously held, um, which is great. So aside from that, um, I really do think Six Flags is going to be the first purchaser of the T-Rex model. I mean, they were technically the first purchaser of the Raptor model, um, and I have a feeling they will hold true to that with the T-Rex model. I don't see Cedar Fair purchasing a T-Rex anytime soon. Um, and, um, I just, I just honestly think that Six Flags is the first purchaser of the T-Rex model. So this is where things get interesting. So knowing that Six Flags is most likely going to be the first purchaser of the T-Rex model, it comes down to which park will be the first park to get one. Well, I want to hear from you guys. You heard from me. I think it's going to be Six Flags Great Adventure, the first park to get the T-Rex model. It's either that or Magic Mountain. So what do you guys think? is going to be the first Six Flags park to get the T-Rex model if you guys think that Six Flags is going to be the first chain. So comment down below if you guys think Six Flags is going to be the first chain to get the T-Rex model, and then which park do you think will be the first park to get the T-Rex model? Hopefully you enjoyed today's conspiracy theory. Don't forget to comment down below more conspiracy theories for us to discuss in future videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy.